you get into a pot and there's all the different dynamics, there's mm -hmm. variables, you know, if he's a really tight guy, he's more likely to fold. Do you know what I mean? What's your image like? How have you been playing that day? You know, what hand do you think he has? If you think he has that hand, do you think he will fold that hand? There's, there's so mm -hmm. many different things. And you also have to think the about. board, uh, yeah. you know, the, well, a lot of draws on the board, I would hesitate to bluff. Exactly, yeah, because yeah. there's more hands that can. And then if you want to bluff, you have to put in a very big bet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it cost me a lot. You know? Yeah. So you know, it all is all this so is taken variables. into yeah. account. And uh, also, is that guy winning or that's losing? Big, that's you actually know? more important than I, people I, so think. Uh, nowadays, I, I bluff less to a, a, a losing player <laughs> because yeah, yeah. he wants to gamble and call, you know. Of course, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's it, the, the guys that are losing find it hard to make good fold because they're losing. Yes, yes. Guys that are winning, they're already happy in their mind. They protect their winning. <laughs> most so, people are like that. We're not saying yeah. everybody is like that. No, yeah. most people, but they so, are, though, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah but, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, if you're playing against Billionaire, <laughs> who doesn't care if he's <laughs> winning or oh, losing? Oh man! I don't bluff him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, but, yeah. I used to have one policy: never bluff the chairman. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have to because now he doesn't call me as much. <laughs> now, because you never bluffed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's smart. He picked up that you never was bluffing him. Okay. But that's an adjustment he made. You see, he never bluffed him. Never bluffed him. Then he realised now that ah, oh, he folds so much now that I can bluff him. Mm. So that's like the adjustments you make when you you play poker. Yes, but I think for me, uh, because I have a, a very, very, very tight image, you know, people think I bluff less. If when I go to a game, I say, oh, who is on the table? You know, a few guys, oh, these three guys know uh, I have a tight image, you know, so I will bluff them more. He bluffed me once, he bluffed <laughs> me once in a big, big hand in Macau. When I first started playing high stakes, I remember him bluffed me. He, he, I bluffed he, on the river. I think I had backdoored a flush and I bet and pulled all in on <laughs> the board was paired or something. Yeah. And I thought for ages I had like an eight eye flush. I folded and Paul went, he <laughs> showed me the bluff. I was steaming off my face. <laughs> yeah, I was steaming. I remember he bluffed me in a simple that, sort of oh, spot. Many, many years ago. But that was, that was years, many, oh. four or five years ago, but it was good. He, he tends to pick the right spots actually in these big games. So it's, it's like he just said, he doesn't bluff that much. So when he does, it tends to work. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> right. got, he's got an art for it. For me personally, it depends on the situation. If I'm making a, a bluff where I'm kind of confident he's going to fold, like I'm confident because I kind of have an idea of what he has and I know I look really strong and I go all in, I'm like more confident that he's going to fold so I don't feel it. But when I'm making like a questionable bluff that's close but mm -hmm. I don't have anything and I'm like, Ah, some draws missed, but he may call, but I have nothing, so I, it's probably better than checking. And I go all in. Maybe I'm not as confident, so I feel it a little bit more inside. Um, so it depends on the spot. Like, uh, yeah. sometimes you're bluffing, you know it's going to work, right? Yes. But, like, sometimes you, uh, yes, you're unsure, just so it maybe you, could, you feel wow, it. Wow, he's <laughs> probably going to go wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He may be going to call me, but, uh, yes. you know, you have no hand, so yeah. it's, like, probably better than checking and giving up because you have nothing. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> those are the spots that personally get me feeling mm -hmm. the pressure a little bit more. Mm, for me, it's more like a tournament, you know. If uh, no more rebuys, you know, if I bluff, and uh, if I get called, I have to. I'll be out of the tournament, and wow, I just love poker. You know what else can I do for the rest <laughs> of the day? You know, it's my only uh, 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 concern. So sometimes. You, <laughs> so you think you bluff less in tournament for rolling? Uh, but with rebuys, yeah. still when you, I still can rebuy. I bluff more. I, I think. <laughs> okay, that, that's a tip for my yeah, for <laughs> a future, for future. But, but I, think I might change. But I think that's uh, most people. It's not just you. Yes, I'm yes, the same. Yes, yes. I'm the same. And I think people kind of do that in general. Yes. Because maybe you have to, uh, my first bullet, you know, I can afford to make a big bluff. Yeah. <laughs> but most people these days rarely bluff all in mm -hmm. for their tournament life with nothing. Yes. Because it, the tournament life's so valuable, so it's it's not as common as it used to be because people value that more, like Paul saying.